Hi, I'm Angela Martin and welcome to this quick cast. Now for the next range of episodes, we'll be looking at the new features of macOS Sierra. Now for those who have not made the upgrade to macOS Sierra as yet, I do recommend that you check out our Getting Ready for macOS Sierra video, which is found on the same DigiCape YouTube channel. Now after the installation of macOS Sierra, there will be some minor cosmetic changes, which you'll find under the notification center. Now you'll notice that the notification center has a translucent background, as well as Apple have changed the name from Mac OS 10 to only Mac OS, which now fits in with the other three platforms, which is iOS, Watch OS, and TV OS. Now from the minor cosmetic changes, let's look at some of the major new features, which is the introduction of Siri. Now Siri can be located on the top right hand corner of our menu bar. Also, it will be on our dock and the settings for Siri will be found within our system preferences. Now if we go to our system preferences on the fourth row, we'll find the setting for Siri and here we will be able to change the language as well as the Siri voice and we can turn on and off the feedback if you don't want Siri to answer you you can turn that off if you're using a third party mic you can switch from your internal mic to the third party mic and the shortcut key for Siri is to hold down the command and spacebar key now let's use a couple of commands with Siri so I'll click on the Siri icon Find me any of the files containing the word Mac. I found these files with Mac. Now I'm also able to open any of these files straight from the Siri results by just double clicking on it. Now I'm also able to open and do other actions in other applications with using Siri. For example, please play any of my music tracks. Pause my music. Open YouTube.com. Now for those who are totally new to using Siri and you're not aware of the different commands that you can use when using Siri, you can also ask Siri what it is it can do. For example, Siri. What can you do? I can do so many cool things. Check it out. So here we can see that it's broken down into the different categories. And if I click on the arrow next to each of the categories, it will show me all the different commands that I can use with using a Siri. These are some of the commands that you can use within Siri from opening applications, accessing documents, or even searching for files. This is now within the new Mac OS Sierra. So I hope that you enjoyed this quick cast and please stay tuned for the next upcoming episodes of the new features of Mac OS Sierra. With me, Angela Martin, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day and goodbye.